Welcome back to the channel. Today's royal news. Prince Harry fans delight as they mock Piers Morgan after speech. Icing on the cake. Harry received a standing ovation from the London crowd, which he addressed from California. Those in attendance included Mr. Morgan, the former Good Morning Britain co-host, who has emerged as a fierce critic of the Sussexes. The host welcomed Harry with the words, we love him, yes, we miss him. Please welcome, live from California, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Harry delivered an address hitting out at coronavirus disinformation and urging rich countries to share vaccines with the developing world. Sussex fans took to social media to praise Harry's speech and mock Piers Morgan for being forced to listen. He got a standing ovation, and to make it sweeter, Piers Morgan was in the crowd. She ended the tweet with an emoji denoting face with tears of joy. A third said, They probably said the we miss you to send a message to Piers Morgan and other royalist bigots in the audience. Referring to Mr. Morgan, a fourth posted, Oh yeah, his face must have gone all red. No leaking, nothing. And he had to sit and listen to the guy who got the woman of his dreams. I'm very happy, as my people would say. Mr. Morgan acknowledged the unusual situation on social media, sharing an article about him listening to Harry's speech live with the caption. The former Good Morning Britain presenter also came under fire from Dr. Shola Moss Shobingamumu, a lawyer and political activist, over his attitude towards Prince Philip. She shared an article Mr. Morgan wrote in 2019 after Philip was involved in a car crash and compared it to one of his recent tweets. The 2019 article was titled Piers Morgan, It's Time the Queen Gave Her Rude, Stubborn, Insensitive, Arrogant and Dangerous Duke of Hazard His Drive in Marching Orders. Dr. Moss Shobamimu tweeted, Hypocrisy of Piers Morgan knows no bounds. He branded 97-year-old Prince Philip rudest human being ever met. Demanding the Queen gives him marching orders in 2019, but you're all about his freedom of speech, yes? On Wednesday, ITV was cleared by media regulator Ofcom over comments Mr. Morgan made about the Sussexes. Following the incendiary interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, the Good Morning Britain presenter said he didn't believe a word Meghan said. Ofcom ruled restrictions, his opinions, would be a chilling restriction on free speech. Mr. Morgan said he was delighted with the decision. He added the regulator had empathetically endorsed my right to not believe what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were saying. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more.